And, uh, and then it's waiting for you over there, you know, right outside. But we see that when Jesus comes to people's lives, they change. Today, many people from the center, we have like three guys that went to India. They built a house for children. They built a church. They built a center for missionaries. There is three people that are in Bible college right now in Siberia. There is four more people will go there. There is some people that are uh, leading the orchestra in our church. There is more people that are preaching in downtown today. There is some people that got married already from the center, uh, after the center. There is some people that have kids already. There is some good fruits there is a chance to get free from drugs. There is a way out. And this way is Jesus Christ, our Lord. I am preaching to you, <laughs> actually, today. And uh, because personally, I believe this is the only way. Uh, like recently, uh, a woman called uh, Johnny. He is the director of the center. And she asked, she is from a government rehabilitation center or something like that, something like, something like that. She's, she's like, how do you guys have such a great outcome? How do you have these, these fruits? How do you have this, like, I mean, progress in your center? How come we don't have this? And he told her straight up, because we don't do it the way you do it. We work with the church, and God does it. We don't do it. God does it. This is the only way, basically. We take people with money and without money. Money is not, I mean, it's not the main point for us. I mean, not the main thing for us. I mean, we take, usually we take like $300 a month for a person, but sometimes we find people on the streets, like bombs, they don't have a shelter, they don't have a home, they, ha they, they don't have anything, so we take them. I mean, but it's a donation, basically. We ask people to donate because their expenses are high and we need to pay for a rent for uh, water, light, and all that stuff. So, like, about $300. But if people they have no money, that's not a problem. We will take them anyways, <laughs> if you know anybody. Yeah. Any other questions? Yes, we do have a website. Uh, you will go out and there is on the left side there is going to be our table there is some um, cards with our website it's gwprovide.org god will provide.org gwprovide.org so this is our website it's in russian uh we don't tell people where is the center we don't want any <laughs> guests that are not expected over there um, it's in boring oregon uh, I'm not going to tell you the address, but I mean, it's enough information for you. It's in Boring, Oregon. So if you uh, want somebody to come there or you want to meet somebody, I mean, to, you know, that a person has a problem, then you can contact me or somebody else from the center. We can talk to them and, and stuff like that. So. Uh, yes, we take people. We don't give any medicine, though. Uh, because some of the medicine is prescribed and we can't prescribe that medicine, for example, Suboxone and other stuff. I mean, Vicodin and all this stuff. We don't give any medicine at all. People, as you said already, that people don't die from withdrawals except alcohol. And when alcoholics come, we really careful with them, uh, especially if they were, like, really drunk. I mean, but with... All, all kinds of drugs, it's fine. People will suffer for a week or two. They won't have a sleep for eight or seven days, but then they get fine. Everything gets back to normal. Yeah, but people come on withdrawals. Sometimes they trying to run away. <laughs> Sometimes they are trying to 
trick us and get the money or uh, try to get our cars and go away, but <laughs> we watch them. For I mean, when people come to the center, we supervise them like 24-7 for uh, this time when they have withdrawals. We sleep, I mean, we stay nights with them because they don't sleep at all, not even one minute for about a week or so. If, if I mean, different outcomes. For example, heroin, it takes like seven days or it takes 70 hours to get out of your system heroin, but I mean, people don't sleep for a long time, though. It's, they have a hard time to sleep. For example, math, I mean, people, all they do on their withdrawals, they sleep. That's all they do. They, they eat and sleep, that's all. I mean, they can eat like big portions of food. They eat like three meals, you know, <laughs> at, at once. But I mean, they get back to normal again after some time. So, I mean, different withdrawals, different drugs. Usually when people come, if, if they want to get freedom, they, they didn't come to spend a winter there because it's cold outside, or they didn't come to, like, uh, to escape from prison or jail or something else, we see that they change really fast. You know, God does his work and they, they, their hearts change, their bodies. Sometimes we had, we had some miracles in the center when people, I mean, wouldn't have their withdrawals at all. Uh, that would be surprising, but we believe, believe in that and we saw that too. Usually it doesn't happen, but sometimes it does. Our percentage is uh, after people finish, we have a six to 12 month program. It's uh, basically a, a year program. And when we see when people finish six months at least, 50% of them, they stay. Maybe it's not that high, but I mean, some centers don't have even that. It's, it's a great outcome. I mean, it's, it's great when 50%, for example, like 100 people came, 50 of them stayed, and they still serve the Lord until this date, and they go and testify to other people. They would preach to other people. They would say other drug addicts about their past life, and they would change. I mean, it, this fruit produces even more fruits, right? But I think it was interesting today. We heard a lot of good stuff. We heard a lot of good information, and uh, it's really helpful. For those people that never try drugs, I mean, it's really good. Stay away because, I mean, you can do better without it, and you can enjoy your life without it. You know, it's, it's not worth it. And plus, these people that testified, I mean, I can bring you here like 10 more people, they will say basically the same thing, how they ended up being drug addict, uh, bad relationship with parents, usually that's what leads to drugs or uh, bad uh, environment, friends and other people that, I mean, lead to, it, to these problems. So stay away from that. Stay away from bad music, bad uh, guys and all this stuff. So, especially in the school, you know, it's that's where it starts. You know, your friends. Sometimes they try and they don't didn't know. They they don't know what they tried and they want to to you. I mean, they want you to take it also. I mean, and then it, it's scary stuff going on. Okay. Any other questions? Okay, so if you know anybody who is struggling today with drugs, I mean, you can come up to me, I'll give you my uh, business card, uh, my phone number, you can call me, contact me. I mean, this is, I, I'm, I'm glad that I can stand before you guys and, and talk to you and tell you all this stuff. I'm glad that uh, Hart also came here and like I heard him, that was excited. Also, I'm not that excited. <laughs> I'm not that energetic, you know. Maybe I need to drink some coffee or something. <laughs> but, uh, uh, but still, I think it's important what we are talking today about. And this is a great thing you guys do, that you invited some people from the streets that maybe have some issues with drugs and alcohol and other stuff. And they want freedom because sometimes people realize that they're in the problem, but they don't know how to. Uh, get rid of it or how to find a way out of it you know so I mean this is a good thing you guys do I appreciate it and this is I mean this is a 
this is not like we do our our business you do or your business you know it's like we try to i mean help at least those people that we can help and do whatever we can to to make uh, people's life easier and better